All righty, guys. Now we're back, and hopefully we've got some audio this time because I don't know what happened there the last one, but the levels looked good on my end. I had uh, nice bars. Everything's looking good. I can see levels right now too, so I'm going to wait for some of you to join back up again here. Um, one day we'll figure out a way to get the feed to just work. Someday. Someday. All right, so now I'm going to refresh my page over here because the comments weren't working today. Yeah, it's okay now. See, and I wasn't getting comments on the, on the screen earlier, which was like, what the heck? So I was like refreshing two pages. It was a mess. All right, so now that we're all back together again, welcome into the Aftershock. This is where you can ask questions that didn't necessarily fit into the show. You can, uh, you can go ask me to go into more depth or detail on particular topics that we kind of maybe touched on but didn't have the time to go into. Um, if you're interested in crypto stuff, this is the time to ask because it honestly bores most people to death. So I try to keep it to a minimum. I'm very passionate about it, so I, but I, so I could talk for a long time. But I try to keep it to a minimum on the program because, you know, it bores people. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Mary says, yeah, it bores me. I think that's what Mary was saying, yeah, too. All right, so who's got a question? You know, fire away. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, let me see. Weirdest stuff that happened into my service center today. I, uh, I had a couple guys come in today. This was, gave me the idea for the Craigslist thing I was talking about. Had a couple guys come into the shop in Papillion, and they asked me for a 1,000-watt power supply. And I said, well, we don't have any anything that powerful in stock because it's so expensive to carry those right now because all the miners need the 1,000-watt power supplies for their mining rigs. So the prices went from what was normally like a $150 power supply to now they're like $400 for the good ones. So, you know, we can order them for you, but we don't have them. And so then he starts talking about, he goes, well, I'm trying to power my S9 ant miner, Bitcoin miner thing and blah, blah, blah. So, we, you know, we start talking shop about how we can do that without, you know, buying a huge power supply. And then he's like, well, you know, let me know if you ever get any cards in. And I said, well, funny, you should mention that. I've got a couple that just came in that I'm using right now over here. And if you want them, they're this much and this much. And he said, I'll take them. And I said, okay. And I, you know, I get motherboards all the time too. You know, this one was a return from Amazon. It works perfectly. We tested it but the I.O. shield is missing. So if you put it in a computer, if you look at it from the back, there'll be a big hole in the back of the computer where all the ports are. It kind of fills the gaps around those ports is what the I.O. shield does. So without that I.O. shield, you know, number one, I wouldn't sell it to a customer as new because it's not new. Number two, without the I.O. shield, I can't even really put it. I could put a computer together and like sell it online, just, you know, hobby kind of stuff. But, you know, Without the I.O. shield, it looks really bad. Number three, I would use it for myself, but I don't need one right now because I've got a holiday special that I just built myself here this last year. So I'm good. So we go through all the stuff, and he's like, well, if you get if you get these uh, motherboards and let me know, go, I'll take one of those too. And I'm like, wow, this these guys, am I selling this stuff too cheap? Because like on eBay, I have to list it and take pictures of it and write a description, and then people ask stupid questions, and then I have to answer the questions. I mean, and you know how dumb a question has to be for me to call it a stupid question. Honestly, like, it's a graphics card. Is this, will this work with a monitor? Like, yeah, it, it, that's what it's for. This is an automobile. Does it drive? It drives, yes. It has wheels. It's good to go. So, anyway, so, yeah, these guys bought some stuff, and I thought, well, golly, you know, I, I get a lot of this stuff in, and, you know, it'd be nice to have an outlet to sell this without having to list it on eBay and go through all that trouble. Maybe I should put an ad up on Craigslist for people who are looking for this stuff to just send me their name and their phone number and I'll add them to a text message list so that when I get something, I could just send out like a picture and a text message and say, I've got it. Here's the price. First person who responds gets it. Seems fair to me. Um, and it, it makes my life easier. Hopefully it gets people stuff that they want. Um, and then because it's a group text message, any discussion we have is out in the open. So it's kind of nice. So anyway, if it's something you're interested in, you can email Thor at SchrockInnovations.com. And, uh, you know, pretty good stuff. Like motherboards, pretty much half price. Um, graphics cards, about 30 40% off of what they're selling for right now. So anyway, that's uh, – that, see, see what I mean? I wouldn't have covered that during the show because that's boring. People don't want to hear about it. Um, so I kind of condensed it because it, it was pertinent to a call and shot it out. Um, let's see. Did you hit control alt delete to fix it? No, no. Yeah. Mary's falling asleep. Well, Mary, I asked for questions that, that I was filling. I was trying to fill time while I waited for people to ask questions that I could answer for them. 
So like Leslie, you know, Leslie has a question. <laughs> question about my Andra, Android Samsung phone. Do majority of photos go on the S the uh, the I think it means SD card, and then some to the phone storage only. I've heard this happens to others, but when I ask, no one can answer. Just curious. Okay. A lot of it's going to depend on your phone. It's a Samsung phone. You should be able to set the camera by default to save pictures to the SD card or to the phone. You can set that in the camera settings. But not every app uses your phone's camera settings. So if you use Snapchat, for example, they have their own camera settings. Uh, if you use, uh, I don't know if Facebook's camera has its own camera or if it uses camera settings, but basically you're going to notice there's a pattern. When you're taking pictures, all the pictures, if you set your camera to save it on the SD card, all the pictures that are getting saved still on the phone are from a particular app, like Snapchat. And you can go into Snapchat and tell it to save things to the SD card, for example. Um, we do a lot of data recoveries of Snapchat users' photos. That's why that's why I know that one particularly. Um, but the, uh, the nice thing about that, the reason this is important, the reason you want to do this, is when you get a new device, a new phone, People, you can, if you have a, an Android phone, you can just take out the, the SD card and slide it into your new phone. And it instantly moves all your pictures and videos and everything else into the new phone. Boom, done. If you have an Apple, you can't do that. You have a lot of uh, online and Wi-Fi syncing options that you can use, though, instead. Um, some Apple people will tell you that's superior. I prefer to be able to move my stuff like that. Um, but if it's saved in the phone itself and you have an Android phone, when you go to sell your phone, number one, there is no way to wipe that phone securely. Same thing with your Apple devices, guys. If you sell your Apple device, you do a factory restore, you think no one can get anything back, I can recover it all. I do it every day for people. Um, yeah, uh, Literally, sometimes when your Apple device comes up with the Apple screen and won't go any further, we literally restore the firmware. We, we, we basically factory restore the phone and then do the recovery. So... You know, when you save it in the phone, it can be recovered by anybody. When you save it on the SD card, you can take it with you, and it's secure. You can get rid of the phone without having to worry about it. So that's, uh, that's the answer to your question there, Leslie. All right, Richard asks, where can I find a bootable version of Linux? Trying to put that OB, OPS on another computer. Hey, no problem, Leslie. All right, so a bootable version of Linux. Um, the, the easiest version of Linux for a non-Linux user to use is going to be Ubuntu. Um, it has a graphical user interface just like Windows. It has a little start button, the whole bit. Um, and you can actually go online and search, it's U-B-U-N-T-U. Let me see if I can find that real quick. All right, let's see here. I'm going to pop a tab and go to Ubuntu. Download. And download the Ubuntu desktop. All right. So... This is the magic of the Aftershock. Boom. There you go. So that's where you can go to download Ubuntu. It is a version of Linux that you, you install it like Windows on the computer, and it's free. It doesn't cost anything, and then you can use it. Now, keep in mind, you won't be able to install Windows programs on Linux. It's a different operating system. But if you have Linux software or software designed to run on Linux, you can install it there to work just fine. All right. Thank you for the question, Richard. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Last call for questions, guys. Anything else? Let's see. Toby wants mining equipment. See, it wasn't completely a lost cause. Uh, okay. And Glenn, he wants some stuff too. So, so a couple people want some mining hardware. <laughs> All right. So last call for questions. Anybody else got anything that they uh, they need to have covered here on the show? I'm trying to think if there's anything else funny or interesting I saw this week. I, I have to say, I'm going to give some props. <clears throat> in the Omaha Service Center, uh, we're training a new kid. His, I shouldn't call him a kid. Everyone's a kid now. I'm like old. Um, but uh, a, new, a, a new technician, his name is Jacob, um, and he is phenomenal. He is one of the fastest learners I've ever seen. Um, he is doing a wonderful job. Even his coworkers are giving me props. And Robert was telling me, he's like, uh, gee, yeah, the guy's been on the job for like two weeks, and he's already better than me. I was like, geez, Robert. And, uh, you know, Summer in the Omaha Service Center, she came up to me. She said, he is super good. Like, he doesn't make mistakes on paperwork. He's really good on the phone with customers. Just just a really, really, and he's learning the tech stuff really fast. So then I thought she left. Like, I heard the door. I thought she was out the door. And I said, Jacob. And I said, you just got a really nice compliment from one of your coworkers. Um, keep up the good work, told him what she said. 
And she's like, I said, what? And I'm like, oh, she's still here. And I, I, never, I didn't say anything that was like wrong or inappropriate or anything. I was genuinely trying to be nice and tell Jacob that, you know, his coworkers think highly of him. He's doing a good job trying to give the kid feedback. He's been here two weeks, right? And <laughs> Summer's like, well, don't tell him I said that. He's going to think I like him or something. And she walks out the door like, Summer does not like you. Mic drop. So anyway, um, Jacob is going to probably end up being transferred over after his training is complete to the Papillion Service Center because we're a, a person short there. As I mentioned earlier in the program, we're a little busy, um, but we'll be transferring him over there. Uh, also, the um, we have another gentleman starting tomorrow in the Omaha Service Center, and uh, we're going to start training him up there then and uh, basically seeing how he does. So. Uh, two new faces at Schrock. One of them, first one's working out real well. Great hire. We love you, Jacob. We're glad to have you. And uh, we'll, you'll be seeing him in the Papillion Service Center soon. All right. So last call, guys. No more questions. So I'm going to wrap it up. And um, don't miss the morning blend. Tomorrow I'm up at 9.15. You can see that on KMTV Channel 3. We'll also post the video to Facebook. If you're not local, um, you can watch it there as well. All right, guys. Is there anything, by the way, just real quick, last question here. I don't know I'm going to have to wait like 30 seconds for you to respond to it. Is there anything you'd like to see me cover on the morning blend? I've never asked because sometimes it feels repetitive to me. Like last week I did a secure updater segment. You know, this week I might just do a drive advisor segment. You know, it's stuff I talk about so often. To me, it's rehash. But we have new TV viewers every time we go on the air. And we're only on the air once a week for about six minutes. So I have to keep, I have to have topics that are concise and then... It has to be something that's relevant, you know, I could do the Equifax thing, you know, that, ooh, big scary, oh, not so scary, ha, there you go. Um, we could do something like that. I prefer to help people, but it's kind of hard to help people in six minutes or less. But if there's a topic that you want to see me cover on the Omaha Morning Blend on the TV segment, let me know what it is, and uh, I'll see if I can't uh, get that worked in for you so that we can get that covered. I'm not seeing any suggestions popping up. I think I've stalled long enough that it's come through on the feed already, too, so, all right. I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you being here on the program. I appreciate you joining me for the After Shrock. Um, and we appreciate your business at Shrock Innovations. Literally, you know, we're a small company. Um, you know, we employ about 12 people. And uh, that's 12 families that count on, you know, customers like you trusting us with their equipment and their, their problems that we can help you out and, uh, and have a fair exchange of goods, basically. So I appreciate you guys um, supporting us. At, you know, years ago, I was like, I want to own my own business. Because I can do whatever I want. I can, I can go out and play if I want to. I can have all the free time in the world. Then as I got older, I realized, no, when you're an entrepreneur, you work more hours than anybody else for less money than you ever thought you'd take for those hours in your life. But you get a lot of freedom. You can spend a lot of time with your family. You can, you know, When you decide you want to go to the museum, you can just go to the museum. You don't have to check with the boss. There are perks. Um, but I think by far the, the thing that I enjoy most about this job is genuinely helping people with their computer problems. Whenever I'm in a funk, my wife kicks me out and says, you need to go to work. And it's not like normal wife stuff, like get out of here, go to work, you're driving me crazy. It's you need to go to work. And I don't mean go sit behind a computer and write a proposal or something. You need to go to work and you need to help a customer. You need to get out in the front lobby and help customers because that recharges your battery. That fills your bucket. You guys fill my bucket and I appreciate that. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. All right, enough mushy stuff. We'll see you again next Sunday. Have a great day.